Before we get to this video, I have to tell you guys about Stalemate Street League 3. We just announced our main event, Richie Lewis versus Alex Marinelli. We've got plenty more matches on the way, June 24th, West Des Moines, Iowa at the RecPlex Center. You can also watch online at patreon.com slash stalemates. Only $3.99. Now let's get straight to this video. What's up everybody? Welcome to the first episode of our new video series called Stalemates News Network. This is episode one. We're going to give you guys the top five stories from the world team trials in 2022. Let's get right into it. Forgot the hit. Start. Hi, I'm Tyler with Stalemates Attorney at Law. You can tell I'm an attorney because of all these books behind me. Have you ever ordered your team merchandise from an online apparel store and been burned on your order or didn't get it the way you wanted? If so, you probably didn't go to Barbarian Apparel, huh? Did you? Huh? If that is the case, have no worries. You may be entitled to go to www.barbarianapparel.com. The best team apparel and merch company in the game. Go there and order all of your team merch needs and stop by our store and get some merch. Look at this shirt. I look freaking yoked. That's barbarianapparel.com. Go there today. Number five, high school phenom wrestlers. High school wrestlers keep getting better and better earlier and earlier, and this weekend was a prime example of such. High school phenoms Jesse Mendez and Brayden Thompson both competed this weekend at the senior level, with both wrestlers going one and two on the weekend. Jesse Mendez and Ohio State commit lost in round one to the eventual champion Seth Gross by a 13-12 decision. On the backside, he earned a win over Shelton Mack and followed that up with a 5-2 loss to the fourth place finisher, Josh Rodriguez. Brayden Thompson had an impressive first round victory over Nick Renan, but ultimately lost his next two matches to David McFadden and Carter Starachi. Not bad for the young men, who you will see plenty more of during their careers at Ohio State and Oklahoma State. At number four, we got 65 kilograms. 65 kilograms was the talk of the tournament as it was widely considered one of the deepest weight classes. Most wrestling fans were looking forward to Joey McKenna versus Yanni Diakmahalas, but the Street League champion Ian Parker put a halt to that as he mustered up the biggest upset of the tournament when he came from behind to beat Joey McKenna 8-5. Yanni would go on to make the finals where he will face Evan Henderson at Final X for a chance at the world team. At number three, we have Amit Allure. Even though Amit Allure only competed one time this weekend, she impressed wrestling fans by winning via a 12-2 technical superiority over Marilyn Deed. Amit will go on to face Skylar Groh at Final X for her chance at making a senior world team. This is an impressive feat as a cadet world champion It's only 19 years old. Be on the lookout for her for years to come. At number two, we have the attendance. The wrestling community was in a frenzy this weekend after a controversial tweet from Mason Beckman where he showed the lack of attendance at this year's World Team Trials hosted in Coralville, Iowa. Many wrestlers and members of the community chimed in with their takes on the situation. Some blame the location, some blame USA Wrestling's marketing, and some blame the Final X format. And some simply just blamed Flow Wrestling. Comment down below what improvements you guys think need to be made to solve this. And at number one this week, we have Chance Marsteller. After a turbulent start to his wrestling career with many ups and downs, Chance Marsteller now has a chance to do the unthinkable. After beating Vincenzo Joseph in a best two out of three series, Chance Marsteller now gets a shot at the king for a chance to become a world champion. Chance Marsteller beat Carter Stracci by a 5-4 decision, then beat US Open champion David McFadden 5-2, then went on to beat Chenzo 2-1. Chance Marsteller then received this mean tweet from Carter Sirachi, where Carter ultimately told Chance to watch your mouth. After some investigating, we found out that allegedly Sirachi keeps referring to himself as daddy, and Marsteller took exception to that by responding, I have two kids and I wrestle, I'm daddy. Drama aside, Chance gave an incredible interview afterwards where he gave great perspective about where he came from. Check it out. I'll tell you guys, like, it's been coming up on two years exact soon. Um, I was an opioid addict, I was addicted to fentanyl and staying away from that and making sure my, my wife and kids have somebody that they can look up to, you know, when they say dad, but when she calls me her husband, you know, like that's, that's, that's just important to me. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit thumbs up, comment down below, hit subscribe, all that. We'll see you guys next time. This is Stalemates News Network. I'm Zach signing off. See you next week.